Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Oprah as Senate okays fresh $800 million World Bank borrowing. The Senate has approved President Bola Tinubu's request for $800 million borrowing from the World Bank. The President's request was in a letter read by Godswell Apabio, Senate President, at the plenary on Thursday. Tinubu in the letter explains that the loan would be used to scale up the National Social Safety Net Program. Attached with the request was a decision by the federal government to transfer the sum of 8,000 8, Naira monthly to 12 million poor and low-income households for six months. It said the money would be transferred directly to identified beneficiaries' accounts. The president's letter stated in part, and I quote, Please note that the Federal Executive Council, led by President Muhammad Buhari, approved an additional loan facility to the tune of $800 million to be secured from the World Bank for the National Social Safety Net Program, copy of FEX Extract attached. You may also wish to note that the purpose of the facility is to expand coverage of shock responsive safety net support among the poor and vulnerable Nigerians. This will assist them in coping with basic needs. You may further wish to know that under the conditional cash transfer window of a program, the federal government of Nigeria will transfer the sum of 8,000 Naira per month to 12 million poor and low-income households for a period of six months, with a multiplier effect on about 60 million individuals in order to guarantee the credibility of a process digital transfers will be made directly to beneficiaries accounts and mobile wallets it is expected that the program will stimulate economic activities in the informal sector and improve nutrition health education and human capital development of beneficiaries households Given the above, I wish to invite the Senate to kindly grant approval for the additional loan facility of $800 million to be secured from World Bank for the National Social Safety Net Program, while hoping that this submission will receive expeditious consideration by the Senate. Please accept the assurances of my greatest regard. Before approving the request yesterday, the Senate went into a closed session at 3.32 p.m. and came out at 4.41 p.m. to brainstorm and give the request as a lyrated passage. The President's letter was read during plenary by the President of the Senate, Senator Godswell Akwabio. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and its counterpart, the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, faulted President Tinubu's plans, saying it runs contrary to the works of a presidential technical committee on the removal of subsidy. NLC and TUC argue that it is not only undemocratic, but shows that the president is merely setting up the committee as a window dressing for whatever purposes he has set out for himself, stating any palliative payment must be in line with the agreement reached with labor in line with the technical committee meeting. 
though the president and the general secretary of NLC, Joe Ajairo and Ima Ubuaja, could not be reached, a senior officer of NLC who spoke on condition of anonymity said, and I quote, the issue is whether the president has trust and confidence in the steering committee set up or not. If he has a budget already, it means that he also has activities he has planned on its own. If he has that, what is the need of a committee? The action of a president has actually undermined the credibility of his own committee. We believe that it is not only undemocratic, but shows that the president is merely setting up the committee as a window dressing for whatever purposes he has set out for himself. When you also look at what he has planned to give 8,000 naira to household for six months, which approximates to 48,000 naira, you ask yourself, can 48,000 naira address the millions of suffering the government has already inflicted on the poor? Will it make any significant impact in addressing the consequences already being faced by Nigerians? Will the suffering suddenly end after six months? On its part, the president of the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, Festos Osifo, who also doubles as president of the Petroleum and Gas and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, simply said, any palliative payment must be in line with the agreement reached with labor in line with the technical committee meeting, corroborating the president of the Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria and TUC's deputy president, Dr. Tommy Okon said, as far as I am concerned, it is economic waste. What is 8,000 naira monthly to 12 million Nigerians household? With these hyperinflation and social economic challenges, how did the government or the president determine those who are to benefit from the data deficit in Nigeria? I think the government should stop these ad hoc and unsustainable program. What form of poverty alleviation policy implementation strategy is this? Is it not proper to allow the presidential committee on removal of oil subsidy to conclude its assignment and arrive at a collective agreement with organized labor before embarking on any palliative care distributions? You guys, what do you think about this? I feel that 8,000 Naira to is it 12 million families 8,000 naira cannot even compare to the hardship people are going through in town like talk about fuel subsidy removal talk about the prices of food in the markets like 8,000 naira <laughs> is is nothing compared to the prices of goods that have increased in the markets recently so i feel that <laughs> Tenobu should you should know better he should have done better 8,000 naira is nothing so for six months, people are going to be paid 48,000 Naira in total. Mm. You guys, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Like I said, share the video with your friends and family. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.